Hello, 3D Jewelry Channel. Today, we're going to model sci-fi jewelry in Blender 4.3. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a profile add mesh plane. Edit mode. Create this profile. Exit edit mode. Save. Now go to the front view, add mesh, circle, 320 vertices, radius 9 millimeters. To the view, select the profile, go to edit mode, select the bottom vertex, shift S, cursor to selected, exit edit mode, set origin to 3D cursor. Make the profile stand on the circle using the proper rotation and location. The circle is only here as a position a reference. On the profile, add a mirror modifier, then add a screw modifier on the Y axis, then go to add empty plane axis at the center of the system. On the profile axis object for the screw modifier, select the empty. Steps 120 normals, calculate order, check the face orientation, flip if necessary now don't forget to merge and adapt the scale as needed i will go at 14 millimeters on the width of the ring save now on the front view at mesh plane go to edit mode create this profile exit edit mode add a screw modifier on the z-axis we are going to merge and use 120 steps Make it completely touch the ring like this. Now do control A, all transforms. Make a linked copy, Alt D, and rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. Take both elements, make a new linked copy, Alt D, rotate on the Y axis 180 degrees. Now you have four elements around the ring. Now you can select my first element, go to edit mode, select the first vertex, cursor to select it, pivot point from the 3D cursor, select everything, and now you can adapt the scale of your element. Readapt the design as needed. Exit edit mode, save. Now let's go to the top view, add mesh plane. Go to edit mode, create this profile, side view, start extruding and rotating to complete this shape. Now add a mirror modifier on the X and Y axis. If needed, readapt your design. Now add a bevel modifier and a subdivision surface modifier level 3. Check the normals to the outside. Then here I'm going to select these edges and delete these edges. Now I'm going to select these two vertices and make an extrusion to 0 on the x axis. Now I can select the bottom vertices, create the face with F and do the same on the other side. Now select the top vertices and close them with F and also the little gap on the side. Exit edit mode. Do a control A, all transforms. Now make a link copy, Alt D, rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. Select both elements, make a linked copy, Alt D and rotate 180 degrees on the Y axis. Save. Now you want to select all your decorations and rotate on the Y axis, 45 degrees. So now we can go to the top view, add more decorations, add mesh circle, vertices six. We are going to create an hexagon. Rotate 30 degrees, scale to your needs. Be sure to be above the ring. Add a shrink wrap modifier, target the ring. Wrap method project on the z-axis negative. Turn on the modify result in edit mode. Let's go to edit mode. Let's extrude and scale to create a border. 0.75. Now we're going to use the offset on the shrink wrap modifier. Now let's add a bevel modifier. Then we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. The simple type level 3. Then we solidify modifier, offset one, thickness, whatever you need. Select everything and flip the normals if necessary to go to the outside. Exit edit mode, control A, all transforms. And then keep working on the offset of the shrink wrap modifier and the thickness of the solidify modifier. And then in edit mode, we can add a loop cut here at the middle, erase the rest. Now let's add a mirror modifier on the X and Y axis before all the other modifiers. Now I want to change the proportion of this part of the design. Let's move these vertices to the right. 
add loop cuts to your design in all the places that you see fit. Now I can even remove the subdivision modifier and don't forget to move the bevel modifier after the solidify modifier and readapt the bevel segments. Now also let's go to shade auto smooth save. Now we want to copy our element, shift D, enter, go to edit mode. Let's make a loop cut right here at the middle. Now let's keep only this vertex, that vertex, and this vertex. Do control I, erase all the rest, copy this vertex and put it at the center, select everything and create a face with F. Exit edit mode. Now let's add a subdivision surface modifier using the simple algorithm level three put the subdivision at the top of the list object auto smooth now we're going to readapt the position working on the offset of the shrink wrap modifier so that our mesh touches the ring and the border we've created earlier don't forget to check the thickness of the solidify modifier save Let's create a new element, the view, add mesh, plane, go above the body, add a shrink wrap modifier. The target is the body. Wrap method project on the Z axis, negative, control A, all transforms, add a mirror modifier on the X and Y axis, go to edit mode, center this, start extruding. Here, you're going to use the shear function to one, extrude and follow the angle from the top element. Extrude on the x-axis, use the shear function back to minus one. Extrude on the x-axis, extrude on the x-axis. Be sure to stay above the other mesh. Add a subdivision surface modifier, level four, put it before the shrink wrap. Create and adapt this shape. Put a slightly negative offset on the shrink wrap. Now add a solidify modifier. Check the offset so it goes to the outside. Give the design some thickness. You can tweak the subdivision level, then add a bevel modifier, and then add another subdivision surface modifier. Level three, use more segments on the bevel modifier to get sharper shapes. Save. Now we're going to apply all the modifiers in order one by one, except the mirror modifier. On the mirror modifier, set a proper merge distance. Now let's add a deform, simple deform, bend modifier on the Z axis, add a mesh cube, rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, center it, select the element. Origin of the deformation is going to be the cube adapt the angle of the deformation and the position of the cube to get into this position. Now select the side element, remove the rotation, go to edit mode, front view, select the first vertex, cursor to select it, work from the 3D cursor, select everything, scale on the z-axis, exit edit mode, put back the rotation and tweak as needed, save. Now remember that we have a copy of this element. We're going to change the shrink wrap target to the original element. Now we're going to work on the shrink wrap offset, lower it. Let's go to edit mode, tweak the position of the design to center it as needed. Exit edit mode, save. Now we want to make a Boolean between these two elements, but the base element is the shrink wrap target of the top element. So we're going to select the base element, make a copy, shift D. We're going to call this the projector element three. Now the cutter element is going to project on the projector element. So now on the base element, we can add a Boolean difference, fast solver and remove the cutter. We can hide the cutter and see the perfect result. Now we're not going to make linked copies. We're going to make a simple copy, shift D and convert to mesh to apply all the modifiers. We can now rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis, make a new copy, new rotation, another copy and last rotation. Keep checking your design from all the angles, save. 
Now go to the top view, add mesh circle, six vertices. Go to edit mode, extrude and scale, center the hexagon, exit edit mode, generate array, put some distance between the elements, then add a mirror modifier on the X axis. Do control A, all transforms. Now go to edit mode, make a copy of the hexagon, shift D, and distribute like this. Exit edit mode. You need to readapt the X factor on the array very precisely. You can make the mirror on the Y axis. Now go to edit mode again. Select the first hexagon with L. Copy on the Y axis to its precise position. Exit edit mode. Add a solidify modifier. Give it some thickness. Start lowering the element here. Now add a simple deform band deformation on the z-axis. Add mesh cube, rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Call it cube, deformation, hexagons. Select the hexagons, origin to the cube, adapt the deformation. Now duplicate the deformation modifier. My next axis will be the x-axis. Keep adapting. Don't forget to tweak the position of your deformation cube. Now take the base element, make a copy, shift D on the solidify modifier, make it higher. Call this exa element cutter. Select the hexagons and add a Boolean modifier. It's going to be an intersect fast solver Boolean from the exa element cutter. You can select the exa cutter and give it a slightly smaller scale, 0.998, to avoid outside overlappings. Select the hexagons, do control A, all transforms, make a simple copy, shift D, rotate 90 degrees, make a simple copy, Shift D, convert to mesh, rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis, make a new copy, a new rotation, a new copy, a new rotation. Rotate around your design, go back to the top view, save. Now remember the projector here for this shape. We're going to make a copy of that projector and we're going to call this sidebars. Let's go to edit mode, create this grid mesh following the outside shapes and cutting one corner. Exit edit mode, save. Now this element is too thick, let's make it thinner. Now we're going to make a copy of it, shift D. Let's go to edit mode, I'm going to erase all the vertices and I'm going to create a new element. Now the target of the shrink wrap of that element is going to be our sidebar. Go back to edit mode, flip the normals. Now we're going to subdivide two times to get this element. We're going to adapt the offset so it goes on the inside of the sidebar. Go back to edit mode and readapt the position. Then let's tweak also the thickness. This is sidebar detail. Let's make a copy of it because we're going to apply the shrink wrap modifier and the solidify modifier here. On the bevel modifier limit method, go to weight. Now, go to edit mode, select the bottom borders, increase the mean bevel weight to 0.5, shade, auto smooth, save. Now bring back the original here, make a new copy, go to edit mode, move the vertices. Obviously the shrink wrap is failing now because we are outside the boundaries of the mesh. So I'm going to grab the vertices and slide them to correct this problem. Readapt the shape as needed. Copy it again, hide the original, apply the shrink wrap and apply the solidify on the bevel modifier limit method. Weight, go to edit mode, select the bottom borders, mean bevel weight, 0.5, shade auto smooth, save. Now bring back the original of that detail, make a copy, go to edit mode, readapt the shape once again. Exit edit mode, copy it, apply the shrink wrap and the solidify modifier on the bevel modifier limit method, weight, go back to edit mode, select the bottom borders, mean bevel weight, 0.5, shade, auto smooth. Now I'm going to vary the thicknesses of these details. 
go to edit mode let's select the top faces and lower them i'm going to do the same here adapt the design as needed select the sidebars make a link copy alt d rotate 90 degrees on the y-axis make a new link copy alt d rotate on the y-axis 90 degrees make it once more rotate on the y-axis 90 degrees don't forget to check your design save now select the body of the ring side view go to edit mode x-rays here on the inside subdivide six times and curve it exit edit mode like this now add a solidify modifier thickness 1.1 offset minus one go to the side view use even thickness and check that you're getting a hollow shell save now top view add mesh plane go to edit mode create this simple shape exit edit mode we're going to add a mirror modifier in the x and y axis lower the mesh add a solidify modifier to cut the inside of the ring now let's add a subdivision surface modifier simple algorithm level three then add a simple deform modifier band on the z-axis add mesh cube origin of the simple deform that cube and adapt the position to keep a nice proportion then add an empty plane axis at the center with 90 degrees rotation on the y-axis on the shape add an array modifier count four object offset from that empty you control a all transforms select the body of the ring call it projector now make a copy hide the projector on the body and not the projector add a boolean modifier difference from the shape now looking at the result you can decide to extend and adapt the design of the cutter as needed remove the boolean on the body go back to edit mode on the cutter and tweak your design as you wish this is the result of my adaptation i've tweaked the proportions the design and then i gave the inside cutter a 45 degrees rotation if you want to have a look at the shape this is the shape that creates the inside cutter save them now using similar techniques we are going to create engravings on the inside add mesh circle 80 vertices go to edit mode extrude scale erase half of the circle exit edit mode do a control a all transforms add a mirror modifier on the y-axis add a shrink wrap modifier target the body project on the z-axis negative take these vertices extrude on the y-axis to zero add a subdivision surface modifier simple level three add a solidify modifier offset zero tweak the thickness to make engravings without cutting the ring add an array modifier count four using an empty multiplier now make a copy of the engravings convert them to mesh take the body of the ring add a new boolean modifier fast difference and remove the engravings hide the engravings and double check this is the result of the first part of the tutorial modeling a sci-fi ring 3d jewelry in blender 4.3 I strongly encourage you to complete the modeling of your own sci-fi ring to be able to complete the upcoming rendering and animation tutorial using this sci-fi ring. Have a nice day, be nice to animals, be nice to the planet, and never forget to save and be happy.